Lots of wows. I feel like Owen Wilson. Just wow. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's on crayons. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's on T37Vs. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's on like Ronald's. It's like, ah. Welcome to Old Race. Me and Neil Sheehan. Hi. I've been sent on a side quest by Dave Egan. While the boys are at Driftmasters, we've been sent to Poland. And my God, what a car show. We did a lap before we decided to stage our filming intro because it's very, very overwhelming. There's so much cool shit here. This is like the greatest car show I've ever seen yeah. in my entire life. The best of the best. There's nothing like let under the radar. There's no like, oh, this is just a crap corner. No, this I is think we, we kind of slept on this a little bit, I think. Because yeah, oh we yeah. even last night when we were looking in, we underestimated the height or the size and scale of this whole place. Yeah, because we're only here for a day and I was like, oh, we're covered. Like, it's a car show. We're covered off in a day. And I'm like, I'm looking at my watch and I'm going, there's eight hours left and I'm already like, we're not going to see everything. No. Everything is cool. Like, we just walked in and we're like, oh my God, look at this, it's on crayons. Oh my God, look at this, it's on T37Vs. Oh my God, look at this, it's on like Ronald's. It's like, ah. Look, let's go for a walk and yeah. see what we find. Race is based in what? 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 Swav? What? Swav? What? Swav? We're learning. <laughs> We're learning. We have to actually YouTube that earlier on how to pronounce the place where it is. We've flown in. It's based around a big, massive football stadium, and it's just it got an unreal setting. Like the weather's good. Yeah, the weather, cars, the music, the cars, just the overall vibe of this, the yeah, show is insane. Is nuts. Like straight away, like Z32, Mad Rocket Bunny Kid, kind of like T37Vs. Celsius on it, work emits, like every single thing in here is interesting. Look at this man. Like you feel bad glancing past stuff that you'd break your neck. Yeah, like breaking eggs with M4s with kits on it over here and there's R35. Look at that. How to E36 two door Jetta. I'm a little out of my depth with a lot of the VW stuff, but I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're like you're a full JDM boy at heart. Yeah. Man. You're, you're, you're jumping into the middle of this going, there is there's a whole other world to this. There's wheels, Lamborghini oh. calipers with like center lock wheels. Ah oh, man, I feel like Poland takes the title for having the coolest amount of BMWs. Like, like we just we just don't do them right at home. We we're actually talking about that this morning. It was yeah. like we have like you have we all have all the ingredients at home. We just just don't put them together. No, don't put, like don't put the genuine wheels on the actual BMWs because like it's just it looks to me looks so good. The quality of stuff is just like a Volvo. It's like an S40. I do love that the left interior completely standard. Yeah, it's pretty much like very clean. The center just like death. Two uh, cans of Jack and Coke in the back. <laughs> Wow. So what's really cool about these wheels is they're uh, Epsilon, Southern Ways mesh. They call it a few different things around the world, but like they never came in huge sizes, but somebody's actually taken the face, look, and stepped them up, out. They're absolutely beautiful wheels. Probably my favorite mesh wheel, that's why I'm like weirdly anorak about that there, but uh, I never thought I'd see these on an S15 ever. So such a cool idea for someone to step them and then step them out the way as well, so. Amazing, unbelievable. That's so beautiful. What a cool idea to put like a really early 80s wheel onto an S15 and stepping it up. What size is it? 18s. Looks like they've been stepped up to 18s, which is mad. Unreal. Like literally a car that... Like scrapped these like 30 years ago. I would have went, this is used. I don't know when the last time I ever even saw no. one of these in Ireland. But somebody got a Polo bread van and went, you know what? Wild body, but then yeah. there's also crushed carbon. Crushed carbon. Look at that. That's carbon. insane. Crushed carbon. Crushed carbon. Crushed carbon. Like, what I love is there's no boundaries. Like, there's no like people are just doing whatever yeah. and building the coolest stuff. Yeah. Like, the creativity is unbelievable here. Old JGTC Pennzoil livery on this 32. Wow. Lots of wows. I feel like Owen Wilson. Just wow. <laughs> 
Wow. How many times do I say wow in this video? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Evo 5, Meisters. They are, that's a cracking wheel on them. Oh my it God. looks really cool on them. People usually stick to the same formula say, with yeah, these. Yeah. But that is gorgeous. Because we're just completely overwhelmed, we just walk past uh, an M3. It looks like a genuine, like what possible. DTM race car. Wow. That is totally insane. I'm lost, I'm lost for words, man. Like the best of everything is here. Like you've got the best of Japanese stuff, the best of Euro stuff, and then there's like the best of, like it's it's crazy the level. I've I just I don't think I've ever seen this much variety at an event. Little slice of Ireland, but you can't get away from him. El Padre, boy. Padre's always keeping you safe. He's, keep, he's keep, <laughs> keeping you safe on the road. GX71 crest, a two tone. It looks like a factory colorway, but I could be wrong. Really? Absolutely slammed. My friend Evan, that uh, is in the shed with us. Well, used to be. This is his dream. This is what he wants to build. GX71 Cresta, it's the uh, super lucent model and it's sitting on 15 inch SSR Mark 3s have the cool little centre cap. So you're saying it comes to a factory that, with that paint? I'm fairly sure, I could be wrong now, but I do know that they do a brown colourway on them. There's a few different split colourways on them, but this might be a custom one, but it might be also the factory colourway, so I'm probably wrong. Someone's going to kill me in the YouTube comments. I'm sorry. But uh, they do come in really nice colorways like this, so. I love the contrast, man. It's just the contrast between a GX71 like, to this. Oh, Jesus, this is a lot to process. <laughs> <laughs> a lurking turbo. So yeah, we've made it an extra 10 feet, Adam. From our previous 10 feet. I think, I think things have spiraled out of control. This is nuts. This is like oh, this is other end. We're not. We're never. We're not going to get this at home. This is a little. This is advanced a little bit nuts on this on this, on this golf. But we're in, we're into we're into the slick section. So this, this is this is the kind the Kai's E36. Yeah, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Fair play to you, man. Pushing the boundaries. Yeah. yeah. It's like everybody else is doing it like this. Is doing the same copy and paste format. He's just going. No, I'm going to do my own thing. Build like whatever I want. Literally draws it up in his head. Draws it on the computer. And then now it's actually here in real life, which is mad. Incredible. The car that was flown in from Japan. It shouldn't work. And if you drew it down on paper and you, like, you tried to explain it to somebody, it wouldn't work. And I don't know why in the 90s they tried to do racing with these. They just look absolutely cracking. Like, so this is uh, based on a super silhouette car, yeah. the DR30 yeah. race car. What's cool about the design of this car is always like that kind of inspired the whole Kaido racer thing because lads started doing this to their own street car. So a whole genre was inspired from 80 super silhouette race cars. So this is kind of doing a homage to the race cars and it's also a little throw to like the 80s Kaido racer scene as well, which is adapted to a modern chassis. So pretty epic. I like it. I love that sort of creativity on cars. There's no rules here. Like so many people would have told him to say no if he lived in any other country. Look at these. <laughs> Gee, look at the, and then you look at the rest of the car, it's like yeah, dry, like, it's like dry carbon. So it's like a dry RV. carbon RWB car. I don't know if it actually is an R, it is, yeah, it says it on it, but so I don't know what's going on here, but it's a dry carbon RWB car. With, with clear see-through. With see-through composite wheels. Are they like a cover? I don't know, a cover. They're like a turbo yeah. fan, like an aero fan that's clear. Same again, if someone said you said you're going to do that, you go, you're nuts. Why, why would you do that? It actually just works out really well. Like, the amount of stuff here that doesn't slot into any categories or any rules or any any of people's defined rules of what makes a car. I never heard something like, how do you get that made? Like, how do you, how do you explain to yeah, someone? There's do you, some guy down the road. Yeah, like, where do you go to some lad in the shed and go, I want to, like, I have a, have a Porsche wide body carbon and I want to build clear see through plastic air, air, yeah. like, air wheels. Like, yeah, man, I have you covered. Call, yeah, out, yeah, call yeah, down. Yeah. Like, I don't know if this is real or not, it's hard for me to tell. I know What's some it? cars here are like show cars made to look like race cars, race cars, but this could be the real deal. Real yeah, there's a real Jägermeister cars over the far side, which we'll get in a few minutes. Like, just real cars scattered amongst replicas, and it's like, you just don't know what's real and what's not, which is nuts. This is insane, man. Oh no, this is real. Quick, uh, it's fooled by the back seats, <laughs> but it's definitely a race car. Just more incredible race cars. Man, that has to be the maddest Pontiac Fiero in the world. Oh, how cool. Look at the sunshades. How's <laughs> Liberty Walkman dances around the stage? Yeah. Kaido, 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 as you do, has built some cars. So we're like in a bit of a panic where we're 
We're trying to film as much as we can before the place gets completely yeah, overwhelmed. Because there's literally thousands upon thousands of people. Yeah. We're just going to assume this is a real rally. It's from Austria, so it probably is. Look at that. Schmidt TH lines, I think. Such a beautiful car. What a cool car. Yeah. And I love like, you've got this here, right? And then you have it next to a 34, which is like a combination of, a combination of weave into like crushed carbon. I've never seen anything like that in my life. And then dry carbon on the bonnet, I think. So it's like dry carbon into a weave that's been lacquered that's also into crushed carbon. I like the front bumper. The bumper's cool. Custom. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, wow. Hey, R8 coils and turbo setup. Wow, look at that. Off it comes, just like that. <laughs> Sorry, we were too distracted by, he has a quick release hole. A quick release hole. Like he has, like, he has a quick, I'm like proper, what I want set up, he has a quick, quick release. That, that was, that that's, is, that was amazing. That was, you just, yeah, just gone. This is lovely. Work Rezax with the uh, DDC lip, they're called. It's like a mad lip. I don't know what it stands for. I'm gonna say deep dish crust. I'm just gonna make up a term here. <laughs> But uh, I'm a big fan of those work lips. They're really crazy looking. And it's forever known as that. Yeah, just deep dish crust lips. Look at the look at the setup. This is totally the setup. This is just kind of like you wouldn't think about putting like a kind of like a Persian rug underneath the car, but it actually really works. And they have the container building in the back. Yeah, and the containers, the, the Persian rug, just sitting there with the cars. Class. It's the casual BMW M1. Just sitting there. Just incredible. Aero fans on. So badass. There's a lot of motors going against street like this. Yeah. Just casual, just casual. I'm more impressed about the carpet. Yeah, this is the Persian rug. The Persian rugs. That's why I got Persian rugs in our new place. It's got Persian rugs underneath everything. We'll have a look at this MX-5. Let's yeah. do an MX-5 thing. If that man knew how how fragile MX-5 Mark 1 motors are, they're going to be blown up in about a half an hour. Because <laughs> they, they, they do that and then they just run and they just blow themselves yeah, up. Yeah, themselves out. Yeah. Car show is cool. Did someone make a miniature scale version of it? You don't need to call me, just need to look at this. That's how we do That's so cool. I think it's a real M3. What a beautiful colour. Lovely colour combo and it's actually kind of laid, it's laced at the in the centre. So yeah. So the front faces of the, these have been polished. Such a good idea. That is insane. Burnt. It's really starting to pack out. Like that's what we thought. We figured it was earlier. It was going to be busy earlier on. So now you can get to the point you can early even see some cars. Yeah. Behind it. And there's still people on. coming in. I'd say. Hughes upon hues. Yeah, it's pretty cute. There's probably crowd. The crowds absolutely everywhere. It's great to see because it's just like seen in Europe is absolutely driving. Like we, uh, we said, we mentioned already that like it might have been on the down on the downward slope, but not anymore. It's no. Not judging by this. It is well and truly alive in Europe. Yesterday was absolutely insane. Like it was, it was so cool walking around, and we got to see the drift and that. But there was like way too many people, and we were right. trying to look at yeah. cars and talk. We were yeah. bumping into people. We couldn't get any shots. Couldn't do anything. Yeah. So you look at this car and just turn this as the back of someone's yeah. head. Yeah. There's a lot happening here. We kind of had an early-ish night. Decided yeah. we'd get up early to actually enjoy the cars, do a quick lap before like we got to get on our plane and get out of here. Yeah. So no, this is nuts. We have the whole face for us. I have like the yeah. whole ultra. This is so. this is what we wanted. Yeah, absolutely. Like an Audi TT with crushed carbon. And then crushed carbon aero fans like that, man. I what I really liked about this, and we, we said it yesterday, is there's like no rules. Like you know, 
people just seem to be able to like, do whatever they want over yeah. here and like no one's like oh that's a bad idea yeah, like why, why would you do why would you do yeah, yeah it's like, like, oh, that, oh, that's silly. instead it's like fair play cool and it works well yeah because you're really attention to detail and everything's brilliant ferrari tester also just yeah. dead I know it's controversial about doing this kind of stuff to a Ferrari, but like this looks like a render or a poster you would have hanging on your wall as a kid, but it's in real life. Because these cars were designed to be just like really flashy and like ridiculous. It was never intended to be like a high performance, like lap timing sports car. So I think the best form for one of these things is to just f***ing have it on the ground looking totally ridiculous. Well, like when it first came out, it would have been, people would have been like, oh my God, this is nuts. And it's not as nuts anymore. No. Until you like wide body and deck. And now this car got more attention yesterday than this like That's i mean right. there's like your usual modern lamborghini but every single person was here yesterday shooting photographs of this because they we were just we were, we were stepping over this to kind of go like i shoot over that over the over the over the bags yeah lamborghini to shoot with tester also this is totally insane so like pandem kid at 32 with wheels that we actually sold from yeah. Distro, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're only, yeah, you, that's what you've been on the hunt all weekend. It's like, what if I, what if I actually sold? And you're, like, you're saying you possibly, would, you, you possibly would have, would have sold these. Yeah, in Distro. they're uh, Amistad wheels that um, we were trying to figure out because Dave bought a set of wheels for his S13 and. Yeah. Either these wheels or Dave's wheels are the biggest wheels they're ever, ever sold. sold. Like, and then, like, yeah, because you'd look at those wheels and go, what the hell are they going to yeah, fit on? They're insane. Yeah. Even when they came in, I was like, what are these going to fit on? Like, yeah. But uh, just totally bananas. Done really well. Like, yeah. I think they're like 13J or something totally crazy so but uh, look at this thing for a presence unbelievable look at this man <laughs> it's totally crazy same again do, do what you want this, this, actually we're actually seeing stuff now we haven't even seen didn't even see yesterday yeah this, this things catch my eye though. like even I'm we're here, we've been here for two days and we're still shocked by stuff walking around this is mad check it out so it's a supra on nismo wheels this, which is this like is, this is the purest on you coming out but this is mad like because it's like a huge no-no you're not supposed to do this stuff but somebody was like you know what because the nismo lmgt is one of the prettiest wheel design faces ever like just really nice classic five spoke design but what's mad right is these are supposed to be five stud but somebody got their hands on four stud nismo lmgt twos and they only come in 17 so what they've done is put PCD adapters on to do it as a four stud and then also step the wheel out up to an 18 so it's like just totally bonkers like there's absolutely no rules like this is so wrong to so many people but I really enjoy that I like when people are like you know screw the rules I'm gonna make stepped Nismo LMGTs and put them on a Supra with like the redox like redo treatment it's a that's gorgeous, man. Absolutely beautiful. Three, four, eight. <laughs> With a modern take and a modern livery on it. And it's just like, it shows you, even, sta even the standard body, just like sl slammed on air. Yeah. And a, t and a tasty livery throughout, just can really do the job. It's cool, isn't it? The guys from Peaches and like, over, in, over in Asia are like, Read the style, like they have another car around here somewhere else. They have really good style. Like Becky Evans is starting doing stuff with them and really kind of pushing, pushing them. And I can really see it because like that's just, that's, a, that, that's actually a bit of me. That, like that livery is lovely. Yeah, it's really, really cool. The colors are very nice. That's great. The wheels are nuts. There's so many mental wheels here. Just like, the, the, I, like what's mad is that they're like, oh, like if you're not wowed enough by all the crazy show cars and private builds yeah. why don't we throw some race cars in and the mix history on top of it yeah like, we have actually wanted to do that for a long time because mondello park have such a collection of history in the museum i mean really like it was the, a lot of the cars can't really be outside for too long and they want to kind of keep them safe and insurance and this sort of reason i'd love to have a car show with all the cars outside and do like a mixed german and jap yeah. and jdm and everything mixed into the history that mondello park has because like, they have stuff like this sitting there just yeah. you just got you just like you can't it has to be tucked away yeah it's a shame isn't it here, here we get to enjoy it. Look at this, man. Look at that the art. Scoops. The scoop. It is crazy. Such a cool car. Oh my God. This is absolutely mental. When you need to build a project car, you kind of have get other cars for like bits and parts. And I obviously had a load of car, another car left over and decided to go a little bit nuts with it. Yeah. Look at that. So. Not one, but two Volvos hacked. So this looks like an A50. Yeah. And then this is like half of an A50. Like, yeah, this is the part, this is the donor car that he's just turned into a trailer and like, fully look at fully that. Out the back. Jägermeister all inside, probably all empty after last night. The wood paneling is so cool. Yeah. Look at this, man. This is probably one of the maddest things I've ever seen in my life. This is crazy. The boys from Night Ride have been busy. 
we like when we were here yesterday and there's no point of even putting the footage in because we knew the guys were big and we like they obviously have such a big following they this place was absolutely chaotic just to get to look at kevin so they've rebuilt fully rebuilt kevin over the last like week and a half over like the last week and a half full like respray full read of the bike read of the bike in the back as my trial she struggles struggles to get out <laughs> yeah the tallest man in the smallest machine. Yeah. The, boys, the boys have went full nuts getting this thing absolutely read on top of the bottom. They have all the, all the, all the mats inside, like the full like, read, read on the exhaust, paint. We we're actually standing by this yesterday. We were looking at it, we, were put, we had our head in the door. I actually still smelled the fresh paint, like it hadn't yeah. even set because I think they finished painting it like the night before. Yeah. Such a cool little car. Yeah, it's insane, isn't it? Look at that. Like the belt drives off the belt of the bike and onto a big turn like and like it runs and it's on air and it's just it's a fun it's a fun little car so yeah. like really like from like the guy because the guys really don't like they don't have the support and the budget behind them to do so crazy stuff that they use their ingenuity to make funny stuff like this and yeah. it just like it actually turned out really well and in turn makes it even cooler yeah exactly because yeah because like you, you know it's not like it's really just throwing throw together and the lads action. are not yeah. really in sort yeah. any sort of a rule book yeah, here just do whatever, whatever they yeah, want whatever they whatever they have in the shed they just do it and make it work with us Yes. Absolutely awesome. We say the silhouette kit is nuts, and like we've seen this guy before at the LZ Fest and multiple events, and even like everything you see online. But like the auto finesse, yeah, the auto finesse S15 really just like grabs attention. Just grabs attention. What are you doing? Between the livery, between the wheels, between like er everything on it is just mind blowing. And looks, and it, yeah. and it has the performance to back it up as well, which is yeah, because it used to be an endless drag car, yeah, yeah. quite a controversial machine online, yeah. but uh, I think it's pretty insane. Like totally crazy, yeah. and it works. And I like, guess the perfect marketing tool because it just like it grabs attention. You get to you get to see everything about their brand, and like it just runs through every single team. We see we've seen it in the drifting downstairs. They got something wide, wide body G or Yaris. So, yeah. like, it's app. I think and I think that they are they are coming to LZ LZ World Tour in Ireland, in Ireland and they're going to bring all the good stuff, all the fun, all the fun stuff. So you get to check all this stuff out. All it's up and close and personal once again. This is just July, which is nuts. The paint job is so insane. It's like a, a candy burgundy. It's it's crazy. I really hope it's coming true on the camera because like it's a really mad can't like as a can burgundy of all of all things. But like and then the like the engine bay is nuts, the interior is nuts, the wheel like it's a, it is the literally total package top to bottom. Yeah. Look at that. Just like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We're just getting so we didn't even see that yesterday. We were too distracted by the other thing. But totally insane. It's like a Liberty Walk. Like, her, her, like a her, full Hurricane Liberty Walk. Like even what I think it's like a V2 or V3 kit. It's super new, full road of four wheels. This is thrown in like in the mix of like, we're down like, I'm not saying in the, in the back end, the back section now. We're just in, like in buried into the deep. Like this will be cited, cited multiple times. It will be a show stop, probably even a show winner in Ireland. Yeah. If they don't want to dub shed or any, any like, even modified life, any car show, that would be like, we'd be doing everything, everything to give every single award and it's just here. Yeah, it's casually. Just, yeah. Right. As the boys behind us start to go drifting, which is exactly where we're going to head probably just after this and check out some of that stuff. There's a car, a particular car I want to finish on. And like, while it's a BMW and I see a BMWs and it's a bagged BMW and it's a, it's a, see a bagged BMWs, something a little bit special about it because if, if my knowledge is correct, it's the only car that's driven all the way from Ireland. He has Christians. Good, good, he's, he's won multiple awards at our shows. He's done. He's done like, like a big, big, fan, like big fan, a big, big friend of ours. Street drove this all the way from Ireland, all the way to Poland to put the car on show because he realised he's been here a good few times. So he's like he's probably seen and checked out this multiple times and knows how good the show is. We, I know, I know. Me and you took this for uh, underestimated this completely. Yeah. Like we were just like, oh, we'll do this in a day. There's gonna be some cool cars and we'll take a bit of footage and yeah, Grant in and out. This car, this car show is nuts. Like Ultra Race is absolutely insane. And as soon as we touched down in our in touched down and checked it out yesterday, I messaged everybody and said, next year, every road car, every drift, we're gonna build like a, a low drift car for the for the drifting section. Drive everything across that we can. Big, big, have a big like a section at it because I know the guys wanted some cars here this year. Next year we're coming back. We're bringing everything. We're gonna make a convoy. I think you're gonna even bring your eight six around the road. Yeah, I'd love to, man. Yeah, if we get get a, get a get a group going from Ireland, if it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what an incredible event! Like it's a bit nuts. Like to top of a thousand show cars, twenty thousand plus people per day. An insane venue. Like good weather. Like, good crack. Yeah, yeah like but, this has just been. Amazing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we're not done yet. We have more drift to check out. Yeah. But hope you enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a like a bit of a walkie-talkie. 
Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. We're us out of our depth, pointing out stuff that we probably shouldn't even be talking about. But but it was fun and we enjoyed it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank and see you. Uh, see you on the next one. See you later. Bye. Bye. Star Wipe. Bye. <laughs>